stone tablets by the wayside carry the ubiquitous legend, Om Mani Padme Hum. Festoons and prayer flags flutter in the breeze near places of worship, keeping evil spirits at bay. Among the many monasteries that dot the mountain tops of Sikkim, the one at Pemianchi in the west is one of the oldest and the largest. It commands a view of Rabdenchi, which used to be the capital of Sikkim at one time. Fragments of the royal throne and slabs of stone with engravings on them are all that remains of the royal palace. Juniper is burnt to provide incense for the monastery, whose wooden cottages still survive from the 18th century when the place was built. One can see fascinating examples of the woodwork of the period in these cottages. The monks have, however, moved to newer dwellings. This beautiful awning from Tibet adorns the courtyard of the great new monastery at Rumtek. This is used only on special occasions when the interior, too, is decorated with ornamental brocade. Devotees from all over the country have come to pay homage to the residing Lama, Gewa Karmapa, a refugee from Tibet, who holds a very high position in the hierarchy of Lamas. Those who can't find room in the sanctum where the holy man sits are content to catch a glimpse of him from the terrace outside. The Lama's blessing takes the symbolic form of colored ribbons which the devotees wear around their neck. On the crest of a hill in Gangtok, capital of Sikkim, in the grounds of the royal palace, is the private chapel belonging to the ruling family of the state. More than a temple of worship, the chapel is the venue of important state ceremonies, like royal weddings and coronations. Motifs in relief adorn the bases of the walls. Through the window of the chapel, one can see the palace across the lawn. The colorful gate follows Sikkimese conventions in its architecture while the palace itself presents a marked contrast. To the people of Sikkim, their ruler is the Chogyal, or the Righteous King. The present Chogyal was crowned in 1965 upon the death of his father, Sir Tashi Namgyal. 
In his last years, the late Chogyo spent a great deal of time in the seclusion of his studio, painting mountainscapes in a simple schematic style he made his own. This painting by an Indian artist shows the marriage of the present Chogyo, then the crown prince, to a Tibetan noblewoman. There were three children by the marriage before the princess died in 1957. Seven years later, the crown prince married again. The wedding of the Prince of Sikkim and Miss Hope Cook of New York City was an event exceptional enough to focus the attention of the outside world on this remote mountain kingdom. I'm on our own video. Hey, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.